Hi all, welcome to the channel. Today in this video, I will be demonstrating a very basic understanding of the joint transformation and mapping data flow activity in a Java data factory. So for this purpose, I have created a very simple data set where we will be having two different inputs like first is the student data set with the columns as student ID or student number first name last name and the city and the other table or the data set where it will be having technology details the student number will be there technology ID student name and the technology okay so we are interested in joining this two data set and get the result as student number first name last name along with the technology so the technology resides in the second table with the help of the key the joining uh, key which is the student number common in both the tables you can see this is common will fetch the technology so this is very basic uh, join transformation demonstration so let's go first to the official documentation page of join transformation and mapping data flow activity okay so here it states that uh, use the join transformation to combine data from two sources or streams in a mapping data flow okay it has like multiple types of join okay we can read about it from this official page and the configuration etc is all uh, given here but we'll directly switch to the adf and i'll demonstrate it for you so let's first see the sources if it is in place in our storage account so the first one is the student not csv <coughs> where we can see the student data the student number first name last name city and the other one is technology so here also we have the technology specific data with respect to the student number okay next we have to create the adf pipeline so let's create the pipeline we'll name it as pipeline for join we'll take the data flow activity and then we'll have the source so here we have two sources the first source will be the student data so let's connect here in the data set to the student data set so we have it you can name it or as student showing then here the first row is having header and we'll browse to the file it's inside the edf container inside the input folder as student.csv click on it click ok I'll name it as student okay this is done next we have another source to add so we'll click here and we'll connect to the other data set which is technology Okay. Again, this is having header. It's inside ADF container, inside input technology dot seeds. Okay. Click OK. We'll name it as technology. Okay. Now we have to add the join transformation. So let's click here on the plus sign and it's under the multiple input output section the very first join okay so click on it and then here in the settings okay of the join transformation we'll select so we are joining student data so the left stream is auto selected as student because it's joined 
and the right stream we have since we have already like created the technology source so it will show up in the right stream drop down so select that so once you select here you can see a linkage is established okay next we'll leave it as default in our join and you know that in the data set with respect to the student number column okay we'll be fetching uh, joining this and we'll be fetching the technology details okay so we are interested in joining it through the common key column which is student number so select it from the left side so the configuration says join condition it here we have it on the single column from student table which is student number and from technology table which is also having the student number okay so this we have established now we'll go to the data preview and click on refresh since the data flow debug option is already enabled we can preview the data in some time okay so we can see that the data is populated and we are getting like for Sardak Sharma the very first uh, student okay having the student number uh, as one we are getting angular okay so it is correct for the first it should be angular okay because it lies here and for the second student number two it will be aws so it will be like priyam it will be aws so it is coming fine since it is fetching all the columns we are only interested in student first name last name number along with the technology okay so we'll omit the other columns so for that purpose we can take up the select transformation which i've already uh, uh, explained in one of my videos so you can go through it so select will add over here and here in the settings of select we can remove the unnecessary columns okay so we don't want uh, what we don't want the city so we'll click on here over here remove mapping so we'll remove then we don't want the technology id we don't want the institute name we only are interested in student number student first name last name the technology side student number we are not interested so we'll delete that too so this looks fine all the four columns desirable are present here next in the data preview again we can see the data if it's coming as expected so this looks fine as expected so now we can add sync to it name it as sync or join operation and we'll connect it to the output location where we want the file output of join it is and to the same storage location in output folder we want the file so click here click ok and then in the settings we want the file to be a single file once we select the single it will ask for single partition so click over there and give a name for your output file so student technology join dot csv okay this we have done next we'll go to the data preview we'll refresh and view at the sync level also so here it looks fine next we'll publish the changes and then after publishing we can execute the pipeline so this is in progress let's wait for its completion okay so that's got succeeded let's go to the storage location in output folder and we got the file as student tech join dot csv let's preview it 
so we can see the student number first name last name and the technology of the corresponding student so we have got the desired output as we wanted in our requirement for joint transformation so i hope you have understood the logic behind joint transformation in adf and we've got the basic understanding like how we have to implement it here in adf so thank you for watching the video i hope you like it happy learning